Okay, so here's my uh, spreadsheet. We're looking at worksheet number one, and I'm going to rename that first of all. I'm going to call that um, Song Sales, because this gives me the information about which so songs are sold. So you can see at the moment, um, the, the data is actually all muddled up, so the ones that have sold the most and sold the least, they're all out of order. Um, this chart positions don't mean anything because basically these groups and songs have just been added in and the totals have been added in. So what we need to do is we need to start sorting this data out to make it more meaningful for us. So I'm going to come down to song sales, right click and I'm going to choose move or copy. And on here I'm going to decide that um, song sales is the thing selected. I want to create a copy of it. I'm going to say OK. It's created me down here a second version of it. I don't want to call it that anymore. I'm going to rename that and call it sorted. And I'm going to drag my sorted one further along. So I know that all my data is safe in here. I can work with this set of data now and it doesn't affect the earlier stuff. So what I want to do is I want to sort all my data except for this first column. I don't need to, so to sort the chart position because basically I want it to end up with whichever song sells the most being in chart position one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select from here. I'm going to go down and across and I'm going to go to the end. Okay. Now it's important that you only select the data. You don't select any white cells with nothing in. You don't select this first row at the top here which basically hasn't got any data headings in because that will mess up the, the data sort. So I've selected from the first to the last cell but I've not included the chart positions column. I'm now going to go to my sort window. Choose this. So I'm on the data tab. I've gone to sort. I want to sort by my total column heading because that's where it tells me the songs that, that have been sold from Monday through to Saturday. That's the total of them. I am going to base it on the values. There are some other options, but they're no good for me. I want to choose the value of it. But I don't want to go from smallest to largest. I want to go the other way around. I want to go from largest to smallest. So whichever one has sold the most will be in position number one. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see now it's changed the data range for me. So if I look at here, here now, Taylor Swift's actually gone down to the last position. Kid Rock has come to the first position. And if I just scroll across here, you can see the totals. The numbers go from largest gradually down to the smallest. 